Hello everyone, welcome back to another video learning Windows PowerShell in our channel Teluglo Telusco. In this video, we are going to talk about PowerShell Pipeline. Pipeline is one of the powerful P features in Windows PowerShell and it is worth spending some time to understand how the PowerShell Pipeline works. So let's go ahead and understand some basics of Pipeline in Windows PowerShell in this video. In the next video, we are going to talk about some advanced topics of PowerShell's Pipeline. So what is a pipeline? A pipeline is essentially is a character, an operator which combines two different commands. So if you see this particular character right here, which is uh, right above the shift key on a US keyboard, this particular character combines two different commands together. So how the combining works and what exactly it means is what we are going to see in this video. Each pipeline operator sends the results of the preceding command to the next command what it means is when I have two commands get service for example this is one of the commands and we have one more command which is get member right these are the aliases for that get service and get member so these are two different commandlets but when I want to combine them I use this pipe character so what happens when I use this pipe character is when get service run it is going to get me all the list of services on my computer so it produces an output of list of services right and then that output is passed as input to the next command in the pipeline which is get member get member takes that input and analyzes that information performs the action what it need to perform get members default behavior is to read the data and tell me the type of the information and for that type what are the properties and methods that I should have so it will analyze the data that I have sent as an input get member then displays the output that this particular type is service controller and it should have these methods and these properties so that is what the output I see on my console when I use get service with get member using this pipe character now uh, you, you, this particular result is very powerful uh, and because combining two different commands or multiple different commands in a pipeline actually is going to be uh, very powerful and reduce the complexity of your code because you are performing multiple things in the same uh, pipeline which means in one particular line you are doing multiple different things so it reduces the complexity of code and it is really really powerful so let's see one example here so a basic example looks like this command one produces when it runs it produces some sort of output and that output is passed as an input to the command two. command two takes that input and performs whatever the operation it need to perform and produces an output and that output is passed again to command three as an input and command three takes that input and then performs whatever the operation it need to perform and it produces an output so this is how the data is passed from one command to another command when I used this pipeline character so that's what essentially a pipeline character does it takes the output of the preceding command and then it is going to pass it to uh, the next command as an input so let's uh, understand uh, some uh, thing here when I run uh, any command for example any command will run in PowerShell in the context of a power uh, pipeline which means when I run one command which is get service this is actually running in the context of pipeline which means when get service runs it produces some output that output is kept in the pipeline that output is kept in the pipeline and this is the end of the pipeline here there is no other command that I'm connecting so what happens is uh, this particular output is normally displayed on the console to you right normally displays the on the console the list of the services you have on your machine so how exactly it is working is at the end of any pipeline there is some secret pipeline which is out host out host this is not visible to us it is not really visible to us so what happens is out host is uh, at the end of every pipeline whatever command you run or whatever commands you run with multiple pipelines end of the pipeline you have always out host 
So when I run only get service, it produces output, it kept in the pipeline and then that, that that's the end of the pipeline. So what happens is this output is passed to the secret pipeline which is out host. So out host default behavior is to display the information on the console screen. So whatever the output that I have here, the output is passed to out host and out host is displaying the information on the PowerShell console. So this is the secret part of pipeline which is not visible to us but in every pipeline this particular out host is there at the end of the pipeline. Now the point is when get services is producing the output it puts that information in the pipeline and the output is taken by the secret pipeline because that's the end and it displayed on the console. If your commandlet is not producing any sort of output that is kept in the pipeline then there is nothing that out host will display on the console. So let's go ahead and see some examples of what I mean by that. So if I go ahead and then run uh, one command which is get service, it is going to display me all the list of services uh, on my computer. So what exactly it happened when the pipeline, so this is the pipeline here, there is nothing pipeline right here in this uh, particular context, but what exactly happened? When get services uh, is running, it produced this output. This output is kept in the pipeline, right? So this pipe output is kept in the pipeline. So there is nothing else uh, that I need to deal with, right? There is no other commandlet that I'm connecting to. So at the end of the pipeline, the whatever the output is there, that output is passed to the secret pipeline, which is out host. So out host takes this information and outhost default behavior is to construct the information on the console so I get the output on the console. Now let's say uh, one more example which is get service hyphen name bits and then if I pass that information to stop service let's see what exactly it happens in this particular scenario. Let's take a pipeline one more time and this pipeline this time is divided by this character right this character is actually dividing these two commands so get service is actually producing a list of services in which I'm only selecting one particular service which is bits now this information is kept in the pipeline so in the output there is only one particular service which is bits so this information is now passed to stop service as an input so stop service default behavior what is the commandlet designed to do? The default behavior of stop service is to stop that particular service. So it is going to execute stop service bits and it will stop that service. And that's the end of the pipeline. There is nothing else I need to deal with. But the point here is stop service doesn't produce any output. It is just going to perform the action, right? It is going to just stop that uh, particular service, but it is not going to put anything back in the pipeline put anything back in the pipeline so there is no output so which means our secret pipeline which is out host doesn't have anything to display on the console doesn't have anything to display on the console so that's the reason why when I run this particular command there is no output on the console instead that particular service is stopped that's it there is no other thing that I need to deal with because the output is not sent to the secret pipeline. Now let's take another example. Get service and then name base get service uh, and then pipe it to format table uh, name and then display name. Now let's understand what's going to happen in this particular context. So let's draw a pipe a pipeline once again. This pipeline is divided into two pieces and the first service is producing a list of services all the services on my computer right all the services on my computer and this information is kept in the pipeline as an output produced by get service so get service produces the output and kept it in the pipeline and this output now is passed to format table as an input format table as an input so format tables default behavior is to what it is it, it needs to actually create a table table view it need to create a table view that is what this command that is designed for format table now i'm just selecting name and display name nothing else so in this output i have a lot of information like name i have status right 
generally what get service produces so if i open one more uh, powershell console and uh, if i uh, execute get service right if i execute get service on this particular uh, console just give me a second here run as administrator okay so now when i run get service on this particular console get service so what is the information that I have? I have status, I have name, I have display name. But there is a lot of information as well, but that is not default. Uh, by default, it is disabled on the console. Uh, it is not displayed. So that all that information is passed to format table. Format table is formatting that information into a table view. And I selected only two properties, which is name and display name, right? So only those two things will be formatted and that information is kept in the pipeline as an output right on the output so this is the end of the pipeline there is nothing else that i need to deal with there is no other commanding that i'm connected uh, there is no other command that i'm connecting to so this output is passed to our pipeline the secret pipeline which is out host so out host is going to show me that information on the console screen because that's the default behavior of the out, uh, out host commandlet whatever the data I'm, that i'm passing to out host that information need to be displayed onto the console that is the default behavior of the out host so when i execute this particular command see this is what the uh, happening in the background only name and display name is formatted in a table view right rest all the information whatever get service as provided to format table is ignored because I'm only selecting two properties and asking the format table to actually format it in a table view and then that output is kept in the pipeline and uh, that particular output is passed to our secret pipeline which is out host and out host default behavior is to display the information on the console. Now why this is important? Why this is important to understand? Let's run one more command. Get service uh, out file c colon services dot txt uh, and then I pipe it to format table format table name and display name so now let's understand what exactly is happening in the pipeline right there so when I have this pipeline uh, divided into three characters this time because I have three uh, two uh, two characters sorry so I have two pipelines here so the pipeline is divided here into two pieces get service executes and it will produce the list of services as an output and it is kept here and that output is passed as an input to out file now understand what out file default behavior is out files default behavior is not to produce any output instead it will create a text file it will create a text file with this name services.txt in that particular text file whatever the output is whatever the input that i have given from the previous command will be saved and it will not put anything back in the pipeline it will not put anything back in the pipeline so without putting anything in in the pipeline it is actually creating a file and in that file it is saving that information that is what out file is out file is designed to do so so there is nothing in the pipeline so i'm not passing anything to format table i'm not passing anything to format table so format table don't have an input to deal with so it doesn't do anything here and put anything back in the pipeline so our out host the secret pipeline doesn't have any input doesn't have any input so it doesn't display anything on the screen so when i execute this particular command you can see there is nothing on the console instead if i go to my c drive i can see that there is file created services.txt in that i have all the services information so this is really really important to understand at any given point what is the information i am passing to the next command what is the information I am passing to the next command? Here, get service produced a list of information, right? A 200 services information, for example. This 200 service information I am providing to outfile as an input. Outfile behavior is to create a file. So it created that file, and this 200 services information is documented in that file. 
in that file in the pipeline it is not putting anything instead it is creating a file on the hard disk so there is no output in the pipeline so there is nothing to pass to format table there is nothing to pass to format table so there is nothing to display on the console there is nothing to display on the console so this is really really important to understand how the pipeline behaves so at any given point of time how do i troubleshoot it in this case i did not get any output in this in this case i did not get any output so i i should wonder if someone who is new to powershell wonders what exactly happened i'm not sure what exactly happened here in this uh, and i don't see any output on the console yeah that's absolutely fine what you can do instead is you can go back one step at a time so here i am not getting any output so i just remove this line and i remove this pipe character do i get any output here no even i am not getting any output here because out file is not producing any output okay so let me just go back one more step and see do i get any output on the console here yes so which means out file is actually messing things up for me out file is actually messing things up for me because this command is, is not producing any output instead creating a file on the hard disk so there is nothing to pass information to format table there is nothing to pass as an input to format table so there is no display on the console so my uh, pipeline there is something wrong at this point there is something wrong at this point so this is one of the things that you can actually deal with there are a couple of commandlets which doesn't produce any output onto the console there are couple of commandlets which doesn't produce any output onto the console or produce any output into the pipeline one of the commandlets is out file out file and there is one more commandlet which is export csv it does the same thing as out file but it exports the file in a csv format right and there is uh, one more commandlet which exports that into export uh, cli xml which exports the file in xml format which exports the file in xml format and there are a couple of things that we need to be pretty careful how this powershell pipeline works so let's go back to my previous example here so out file okay this is actually not producing any output so i removed that i kept something like out host now i say format table name display name when i just hit enter as you can see i just get the default output normally when you run get service this is the default output that you get status name and display name what exactly happened here let's understand let's draw a pipeline again this pipeline again divided into two pieces get service here produced some output and kept it in the pipeline this output is passed and as an input to out host out host so what is the default behavior of out host out host default behavior is as soon as you provide some information to it it will display it onto the console that is a default behavior so out host is displaying the information onto the console right here it is not putting anything in the pipeline it is not putting anything into the pipeline so format table in the next uh, command doesn't have anything as an input and our secret pipeline out host doesn't have anything to display so our pipeline is actually breaking here our pipeline is all uh, actually breaking here it is default their uh, behavior is to display uh, the output on the console so that is what i get so if i back off one step if i back off one step so there we go this is the output that i have so you need to be really really careful with uh, these commandlets like out host out default because they doesn't put anything in the pipeline instead they just uh, display the information onto the console and then we have something like uh, convert to csv so as you can see get service when i pipe it to convert to csv what exactly happens here you see the information is formatted in a comma separated value csv file you can see here that information everything is comma separated it will have an header if we scroll to top and the information is actually passed uh, so you can see the headers as a name required services can pause can stop that's what normally a csv file have 
header and a column of values so this is the header and these are the values so now when i export when i converted this to csv and export to uh, csv export csv c colon scr dot csv let's understand again what happened in this pipeline so when i draw the pipeline right here and divided the, with the two characters get service produced an output of all the list of services and kept it in the pipeline fine this information is passed to convert to csv convert to csv what the convert to csv job is to convert whatever the input i have given into a csv formatted so it converted that into csv format and kept it in the pipeline as an output csv output this csv output is then formatted uh, as uh, forward as an input to export csv export csv then exported that information to a csv file exported that information into csv file and it did not put anything back in the pipeline so our secret pipeline out host at end of the pipeline doesn't have anything to display on the console doesn't have anything to display on the console instead it created a particular file on my hard disk which i can show you if i go to my c drive which is csv as you can see the information is in csv format but as you can see it just gives me the information in something which you don't really understand the trend the type and all this stuff so when you are struggling why my formatting is not working or why my data is not exported properly because you are dealing with commands in wrong place in the pipeline you are dealing with commands in the wrong place in the pipeline so that's one of the biggest mi mistakes uh, that we can actually encounter to and uh, and the pipeline is pretty much uh, the, uh, the, this is what the pipeline pretty much does it passes the information from one command to another command one command to another command and uh, whatever the command is designed to do so it will do that functionality with the data that you have uh, passed and then it is going to uh, display the output on the console or it, it is going to create a file on the hard disk well, at, at the end of the pipeline whatever the output is there on the pipeline it is going to be displayed on the console if there is no output on the pipeline there is nothing to display on the console so that's that's what you need to be uh, uh, thinking of what is there in the pipeline this is version 2 in version uh, 4 and above we have some cool feature like get service right and there is something which is called as out variable right out variable a and then now uh, let's go ahead and uh, put one more command which is uh, get service and then get member and then out that variable to b now what it, what it means is the functionality remains uh, functionality remains same functionality is remaining the same in the pipeline but the information is captured in these variables at every given stage so instead of going one step back at a time to troubleshoot the issue you can look at the variables that are created and then uh, you can decide or understand what exactly is happening so here in this pipeline in this pipeline uh, get service producing a lot uh, hundreds of services information and it kept in the pipeline as an output right that is the output that produced and it is passed in the pipeline but at the same time that information is also captured in the variable that's the same time that information is also captured in a variable and uh, this information is then passed to get member get member is actually dealing with that information and then putting something back in the pipeline and whatever the output is kept in the pipeline that is also actually captured by this particular variable so let's see what happens when i run this so when i run that i get uh, the exact same functionality so get service get member it is going to tell me the type of the information methods and properties but it also created two variables dollar a which is having the services information which is in the first pipeline and then in dollar b it produced the get member information whatever it is there in the get member so this is how at each stage of pipeline you can capture that information so if you go back to my uh, Go back, go back to my example right there. So, 
dollar a has all the services information because get service produced services all the list of services so when i run this a has captured all that information and then it passed on the information pipeline pa passed on the information to get member and get member then analyzed the data and then produced an output of uh, get member type which is what is the type and what is the method and what is the property and that information is stored in out variable which is in the b so dollar b has the get member results at the end of the pipeline why is this important let's see so if i go ahead and say export or out file for example out file c colon slash uh, ser dot txt and then pipe and then i kept this in out variable out variable dollar b and then i kept that to format table name display name just put the name uh, for this i uh, out variable and i put that in dot v to c let's see what exactly happens when i run that so i don't get anything on the console why i did not get anything so let's troubleshoot so what do you have in dollar a okay i have all the services information in dollar a now let's see what do i have in dollar b i have nothing i have nothing in dollar b because out file produced a text file and it did not put anything in the pipeline so out variable the value of b is empty because it doesn't produce any output out file doesn't produce any output so the variable b doesn't have any information to store let's see if i have any information in c let's see if i have any information in c no there is nothing in c because a c doesn't have uh, anything as an input format table did not get anything as an input from out file so it doesn't actually created anything uh, or stored anything so let's just swap this information let's put format table right here right and then at the end of the pipeline i'm going to put out file c colon uh, slash c colon slash sc c colon dot txt for example when i hit enter i don't get any output now again i can troubleshoot by using dollar a dollar a has all the list of services with name status and display name okay that's fine so that's that's what get service produced so what does dollar b have nothing so let's see what happened Oops. okay dollar c is what i have uh, format table is dollar c so let's see what does dollar c have so dollar c has just the name information dollar c has just the name information so out variable c captured that c variable captured that information about only names right and then it passed that information format table passed this information to out file out file created a file serv.txt but it did not actually put anything back in the pipeline so if i go ahead and open uh, uh, serv.txt for example sorry if i go ahead and open that particular file on my c drive this one it just has that particular information which format table has passed format table has passed only the name information it did not pass all the information produced by get service right it only passed the name information so that's what it is there in the pipeline so this is how a powershell pipeline works so you need to be really really careful while constructing a pipeline and the placement of your commandlets is really really important at what point you are actually placing a commandlet if the previous commandlet is not producing any output back onto the pipeline so there is nothing to deal with for the next commandlet so this is you need to understand this is really really important and in the next video we are going to talk about how this actually working in the background how the two commands are getting hooked together right using the pipeline character what exactly the uh, things that you need to have in place for the pipeline to work all powershell commandlets are designed to be worked in pipeline but doesn't mean that you put every command you can put any command together in a sequence no you need to meet certain set of criteria or some values need to be met in order for this pipeline to work so in the next video we are going to talk about that behavior the technicalities of why the powershell pipelining is behaving this way and what are the important things that you need to know 
uh, for the pipeline to work seamlessly so for that's it for this video friends if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions please uh, put it in the comment section or you can also alternatively join the telegram group and the facebook group and post your questions there i will be glad to answer your questions and thank you so much for watching friends and have a wonderful day